Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about makeup brushes. I asked you guys on Instagram what video you guys would like to see and most of you said that you wanted to see um, my favorite brushes. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and film today. I will have your requested videos sometime next week so keep an eye out for that. So yeah, really quickly I'm just going to show you or I'm going to try to be quick. Um, I'm going to show you what brushes I love to use, the purpose of them. I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can just so I don't make this video too long and too boring. So if you want to see what my favorite makeup brushes are, then just keep on watching. So I just have my makeup brushes sitting in front of me and I'm just going to go through them. Warning, some of these are dirty because I've used them on my face. Um, some are clean because I just cleaned them the other day, but I've been wearing makeup, so they're a little bit dirty, so do not mind that. So, really quickly, I'm just going to go first through my eye brushes. Also, keep in mind that I don't have a lot of high-end makeup brushes. I don't believe that you have to spend hundreds of dollars on brushes in order for you to get quality makeup. Um... The first brush that I wanted to talk about is this one right here. Now this one I actually picked it up at jo no, Michael's a while ago and it's just a really flat brush as you can see. Now what I love to use this brush for is to pack on eyeshadow or to apply the um, highlights on my, um, my brow bone. Um, you don't exactly have to have a brush like this, but I believe that these brushes or these types of brushes are amazing to just pack on color, especially when you're doing something that is going to require a lot of um, like packing on or if an eyeshadow is too chalky, etc. I feel like these brushes are the best brushes to just really pack on eyeshadow. Um, they're not the best for blending, but I do love to pack on my eyeshadow with this one. Another brush that I just cannot live without, and I use this every single time I apply my eyeshadow, this is the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush. This brush is really nice and fluffy, as you can see. It has really like a really round tip at the top and it just flares out really really nicely i love to use this to get into the crease and just buff out the colors you can also bring this to your lower lash line to just really smoke out your eyes like i did today i went with this brush and i just smoked out my lower lash line um i've seen a lot of people using this as well to contour their nose um, I personally don't contour my nose very much because I do have a pretty wide nose and I just I don't get it I don't know how to contour my nose specifically because I always just make I ended up I end up making it look bigger so I don't even mess with that I do absolutely love this brush to just blend out my eyeshadow it does all the work for you Sigma is pretty expensive um, I've gotten this alone I think I got it off of eBay a while ago and I love it. I would definitely repurchase this brush. Now, if you don't want to splurge on the Sigma brush, another amazing um, blending brush is this one right here. As you can see, they're a little bit similar, but the Sigma one is just a little bit, um, it's a little bit fluffier. And this pink one is just a little bit thinner. They're pretty much the same concept, honestly. Now, this one is a Soho brush, which I got from Walmart years ago. I don't know if they still sell them or where they might sell them eBay might carry them but it's an amazing blending brush again you can just really just go ham and blend out your eyeshadow with this and it's just really gonna do all the work for you another brush that I recently got and I've actually been loving it so much is this pro blending brush and this is by the brand beauty junkies and it's a really nice fluffy brush um, I do have some discounts um, or some coupon codes for you guys for this specific brush if you are interested in buying it um, you can buy it off of Amazon um, it's not an affiliate link or anything like that but I will have all that info down in the description bar so anyway I love this brush because if you can see it it's really small and it's really nice and rounded as well I love this brush to like really just get into my crease I don't have a defined crease so I really have to get a brush that is going to just define the crease for me and this does just that. It's really nice, it's really soft and the bristles are really nice um, packed in there. I've washed it about two or three times now and I haven't seen any shedding with this. Really nice brush as well as to um, smoke out your lower lash line if you want like a really blown out smoky eye this is also going to help you blend as you go 
So I love this brush. I really, really enjoy it and it's just become one of my favorites. Now I want to show you two brushes that are like literally my two go brushes or the ones that I just reach out for the most when I'm doing a makeup look. So these are synthetic brushes and this one is by the brand 6 Plus. And this one, I don't know where it is. It's super old. 6 Plus, I got off of eBay. It was like a 15 piece for about for around $30. I don't know if it's still available. I will look it up for you guys and leave everything again in the description bar. Um, but this is just a synthetic brush. I love this to either apply my concealer to carve out my eyebrows. That's mainly what I use it for. This one is to carve out my eyebrows just so it can look really nice and clean. I also really like to use this to um, clean out, clean up the edges of my eyeliner if sometimes it's too thick or anything. I just go with this and I clean it up. This is also really nice to apply your base, either a pot or your NYX eyeshadow base, which is what I use. Whatever base you use, this is really nice for it because it's going to pick up um, cream products and it's just going to apply them directly onto the lid. So these are really, really good for um, cream products. I don't specifically love them for eyeshadows. So, yeah. This brush is also from that brand 6 Plus. And what I love about this brush is that it's really nice, rounded, and then it kind of curves to a tip. These, I like to use them just to apply my base. And sometimes I don't want to use the other one. It does a really nice job at blending it out as, and as well as applying it to your eye. So I love this one. And again, it just came in that little pack that I bought off of eBay. Another product that I also reach out for a lot is this one right here. Honestly, I have no idea where this brush came from because it's super old. But it's just a really nice, like, small, detailed brush. This, I only use it to apply my inner corner um, highlights because it's really really nice and small and the, and the bristles are really soft and it picks up enough product and deposits right where I want it to. So I love this to apply it to the inner corner. You can also take it to highlight your brow bone but I specifically love it for this. Again, I really don't know, I'm sorry, what brand name this is. If I find something similar to this, again, it will be in the description bar. Now the last brush that I want to talk about as far as eyes is this one right here. And I have several of these. I will just show you. These are pencil brushes. I love pencil brushes um, to get right into the crease. Specifically this one because it's a little bit thinner. I like to just really get into the crease when I want to carve it out really nicely. Kind of like a... Um, what you, like a cut crease or anything like that these help me just make a perfect straight line and then just bring it in these are also really good to smoke out your lower lash line because they're really soft but they're stiff at the same time because of all the bristles that are nicely compacted together so I love those for that specific reason alright so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to face brushes I do have quite a lot of um, face brushes that I consider to be my favorites because I use them pretty much every time that I apply my makeup. Um, the first one is the Sigma Makeup Brush. This is the Large Angled Contour F40 brush. And you guys have probably seen me use this in some of my recent tutorials. I kind of stopped using it for a while and then I reused it and I'm like, oh, why did I stop using this? I love this brush. It's really nice and angled. Um, and it's just so fluffy and I've never had any problems with shedding with this brush. After I wash it, it goes back to its normal shape, which is something that I love. This is not going to give you a super crazy um, chiseled out contour, but it is going to chisel out your cheek. Wait, it's just going to contour your cheekbones. This is what I use to contour my cheekbones today, but this is what I use. And as you can see, it looks really nice and smooth. I love this brush. I use it for bronzer, I use it for blush, and I use it to contour. So it's kind of like multi-use. And again, this is from Sigma. I've had this for a while now, and I just, I love it. Um, another brush that I love, and I don't know if I've mentioned this one before. Again, this is by that same brand, 6 Plus. Now, what I love to use this for is for two things. I love to use it to set my under eye. Since it does come to a point, it lets me get right into the eyes and then just bring it on over here. Since it's, again, nice and tapered, 
I love it to apply my highlights. Now this can be a little bit um, crazy when it comes to highlight just because it picks up so much product and then when you deposit it you're like oh shit I put a lot but it does the blending really nice for you so I don't mind it I love 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 this brush this is one of the ones that I just constantly constantly reach out for next is the real techniques um, setting brush and I did talk about this in my favorites video um, as I said this is what I use or this is what I've been using to highlight um, my cheekbones and this is what I use today to highlight my face as you can see I went a little overboard but whatever Real Techniques has some really good quality brushes and it's not too expensive so this is just definitely one of my favorite brushes um, next up I have two contour brushes that I absolutely love this is the elf contouring brush and I also have a video on this one an intense contour this is your go-to brush because this is gonna get right in there and leave that really nice line so you can have you know your cheekbones really nice and defined now this is not the best brush to blend out the contour just because the bristles there's not really too much space for the bristles to move if that makes sense I specifically love it only to really just chisel out my cheekbones now when I don't want to use this for whatever reason I love the Real Techniques um, sculpting brush this brush is so ridiculously soft I love it I bought it a few months ago and I fell in love with it but then I found out about this one and then I started using this one but I just go back in between these two this one as you can see is a little bit thicker than the elf one it's a little bit chubbier and it's not as flat on the top as this one nonetheless this is going to give you a really nice sculpted look what I love about this one is that like unlike the elf I can actually use this to contour and to blend out my um, contour you can also apply this with cream products I love to use this to just carve out my um, my jawline and then to just bring a little bit of color to my forehead really good brush and it's it's just I love it. So the next brushes that I'm about to show you are the ones that I strictly use for um, my face. And I want to give you several options. So that's why I'm going to show you different ones that I love and that I like to use. Uh, the first one is this one right here. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This brush is so freaking nice. I love this brush. And it's super inexpensive. It's only $6. As you can see, it's rounded at the top and it's really nice and fluffy. The only problem that I have with this brush is that there's some little like pelitos that stick up and that just drives me crazy but I don't want to cut them. So, I don't know. I love this brush though. It's really nice to apply your whole foundation. This will do all the work for you. It will not leave you streaky or with patches or anything like that. Another brush that I've also been using is this flat kabuki brush. And it's by that same brand, which is Beauty Junkies. I will also have some sort of discount code or coupon code, whatever you want to call it, for this brush right here. A lot of people say that this is pretty much a dupe for the Sigma... Um, what is it the F80 or the F40 flat top kabuki brush which I totally agree I actually had that Sigma um, kabuki brush and I think I had it for only about a year and then all the hair just completely came off like I would really literally touch it and chunks would come off so I had to just I just had to get rid of it I was so freaking pissed because it was such an expensive brush this one is really nice as well the bristles are really soft as you can see this one's clean so I, I didn't use it today. I will show you the brush that I used to apply my makeup today. But this is really soft and it has tons of little um, hairs. Now this is pretty large. Um, it's not ideal for people like me that apply their eyebrows before their foundation because as you can see it's a little too large to get in between. But it's not a big deal to me. I mean I can just use my fingers or do whatever I need to to get around my um, foundation anywhere else. It's just a really nice brush and like I said it just really does the job for me so I love this brush another brush that I also like I don't use this one as often anymore because it sits on the back end and I honestly forget about it but this is the Sigma 3d HD kabuki brush and I think this is one of the brushes that was totally worth the hype it's flat on the sides but it's kind of point I, do I don't know how to describe this but it's really nice this is ideal for people like me that do their eyebrows and then their foundation because as you can see this will not disturb your eyebrows it'll get right in 
right in between there and then you can just turn it to the side and whoop, carve carve out your eyebrows and then just blend it out. Really quickly, I wanted to mention this brush. This is another Real Techniques brush, and this is a retractable bronzer brush. Now, I don't use it to apply my bronzer, but what I do like to do is after I've applied everything and I'm done, I like to take this brush and just really go in there and make sure that everything is nice and blend it out. And I'll just take it all over my face, and this will just distribute the makeup really nicely without disturbing it or moving it around. So it's just kind of like a final step to make sure that everything is blended and there are no harsh lines. The next brushes that I wanted to mention are uh, blush brushes. This is another Real Techniques brush and this is the blush brush. As you can see, it's not like your regular small little, you know, rounded brush. This is really, it has a really like cone shape. It's like it goes large and then it just goes to a really nice point. This is why I love it. You can also use this to apply your highlight. I've used that before and the little hairs are so soft that it's able to apply your highlights really nice without going overboard. But I love to use this specifically to apply my blush because it's just, it's so soft and it picks up just the perfect amount of blush. It deposits that to your skin or to your face, whatever. And then it just blends out so nicely. These hairs are so super soft I love this brush <clears throat> I do switch it up between this one and the next one that I'm going to show you but this is such a good brush I also love to use this brush to apply my blush I think this is the one that I've used the most um, as far as on my tutorials and this is another one from that brand 6 plus so if I do find it um, that brand off of eBay I highly I highly suggest that you guys order them because you're gonna get a whole bunch of brushes for just a really good price so yeah I love this brush to apply the blush and the last brushes that I wanted to talk about are more for like bronzer or powder just to set your makeup this one again is from that same brand 6 plus as you can see this thing is humongous it's so big but I love this to either um, apply like when I'm setting my face um, because this is so big it just pretty much takes care of everything in like one or two steps it's really nice and big um, you can also use it for bronzer if you want to just bronze up your face the bristles are also really soft so it'll just make everything really nice and smooth um, another brush that I love is again another Real Techniques brush and this is the powder brush so as you can see this one is also really really big I do like to use this specifically more for bronzer as you can see because it just it's so soft and it just gets right in there telling me that I have a big forehead it just it's really nice to get in there and just blend everything for me love this one and another brush that is really nice is the elf complexion brush it looks like this this one as well is pretty big now this one is a little bit more of I mean it's a bronzer brush but you can also use this to get underneath there and set your concealer you can bronze up your face you can just really pack on your blush so you can use it for different things but I specifically love it to just bronze up the face and blend everything so that is everything I know that I went kind of fast through this video but I mean I just did it I don't feel like I needed to go into detail into the brushes because they're pretty self-explanatory so again I will have links to everything that you guys need to know in the description bar down below and let me know what your favorite brush is I'm always on the hunt for new brushes so that is everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you guys in my next video bye